Hi everybody, I'm Glenn Kennedy, along with my partner Charles Moss. Glad to be here. Welcome back to Barn Talk. Today we have a special guest, named Bill Hubbard. How are you doing today, Bill? I'm doing great. Good, Bill. So Bill's uh, family, they owned uh, Ranch Market. And uh, Bill, tell us a little bit about the market. Uh, Woodland Park Ranch Market, located at Vine and Glendora in West Covina. But my dad bought that market in 1948. His name was Fred Hubbard, and at the time it was called the Woodland Park Ranch Market. If you, I can tell you a little bit about how my father got that store. <clears throat> he was uh, he was born and raised in Texas. His lifetime goal was to be a cattle rancher, and in those days it was kind of hard to to earn money, and he went to a junior college in Cherokee, Texas. And while there, he worked in a, what they called a general store, and he somewhat learned a little bit about that type of business, and especially the grocery part of it. And my aunt had moved to the Los Angeles area in 1926, and they invited him to come out and try to earn some money so that he could go back and become the rancher that he wanted to be. So while in L.A., he worked and managed uh, liquor stores and grocery stores, and he learned the business quite well doing that all over those years. When I was in the, uh, at the end of my third grade year, we moved to West Covina, and my dad bought an acre of land at, near Vine and, uh, or near, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Francis Guido and, and what they call Valinda now, it was Covina Road then. And we built a house there. And in the meantime, he was still working in Los Angeles and driving that distance back and forth. But started, uh, he'd always go visit the ranch, the Woodland Park Ranch Market. And they asked him if he would like to, to fill in and work for them a little bit, which he did and then eventually worked full-time there and in 1948 actually bought the store. So that's the story of, of how that began. Interesting. So, um, yeah. so tell you, you you guys had a, a meat market in there oh, and, and what kind of, it was a, it was what a, kind of, what kind of stuff did you sell there? Full service grocery store, wonderful meat market, my dad uh, insisted over the years that it was always a good meat market. It was. And yeah. I remember the man behind the counter. He cut nice steaks. And oh, right. Oh. All, the butchers over the years were always yeah. very good okay. during us. Mm -hmm. And they always had good meat. Yeah. So uh, did you expand it a few times? Yes. Uh, in the front of it, the, there was a, uh, an area in the front parking lot that, that actually originally, when we, when we first were there, was an insurance office, and then it became the, the county library. And then after the library closed, my dad bought uh, that end of the, that wing and tore the wall out, and so that expanded the store somewhat. And where'd you get your vegetables? Did you go in town, or did you uh, we, Some vegetables were uh, delivered, uh, the routine stuff was delivered uh, routinely by a truck. I don't know where they came from, mm -hmm. but my dad had an old time acquaintance, old, old friend, and that was in the vegetable business, and he, he, he called him the junk man, and he had this beaten up truck with wooden sides and panels, but I still remember every Saturday this truck would show up about eight in the morning, and I, I wish I had pictures of my dad in this, in this fellow climbing through the top of this truck. And anyway, what this fellow, uh, he, he, he got all of this produce. He knew everybody, every farmer in between here and San Diego. I see. And especially Orange County. Uh -huh. And so he would, he would gather all the best stuff. And knowing my dad for so long, my dad was always his first stop on Saturday morning. Okay. And well, I remember your vegetables were delicious. I often yeah, wondered. They were always tough. It's such a good uh, variety too. Mm -hmm. So, so now, how did you 
determined to come, did you come out to West Covina in this area or farther every now and then and decided this was a nice place to <clears throat> start it? I know how you got started there, but you had to still come out to West Covina or down the freeway. Uh, yeah, right? my dad frequented, you know, we, we made many a trip to the uh, Kellogg Ranch in uh, Edward Calpaglio's. Oh, the Arabian horses. The Arabian horses, oh, yeah. I see. And he loved to go to the horse shows and uh, so maybe he got familiar with the area. Yeah. Tell, tell us about the, the that was interesting. They bought a lot, an acre, an and acre, they yeah. built a house. Were yes. other people, was that a kind of a subdivision in there? It wasn't months? a subdivision, but uh, there were uh, five, I'll, I'll just call them plots. Each of them were exactly the same size, each an acre, mm -hmm. uh, from Francisquito halfway to Merced. Oh, was it just walnuts across the street? Mm -hmm. I see, yeah. I could walk all the way from our house to the ranch market through walnut trees. No kidding. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful walk that would be. Oh, was Yeah. Oh. There was also that reservoir by your house, too. Uh, yes, there was a reservoir. <laughs> yeah. uh, Francis Guido and Lark Ellen, you head into the hills, and uh, I don't know what, I don't know for sure the name of it, but us kids called it Old Lady Ellen's Reservoir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably and was her reservoir. Yeah, Lark Allen. Yes. Like, she, she, she could have been. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I got a question to ask mm -hmm. you. So when your your uh, your dad had the had the ranch market there, did uh, what was around what was around in that general area at the corner of Glendora and and Vine? Oh, because so the Hong Kong Plaza is there. Yeah, today. well, there was a gas gas station uh, right next to us, and there was one across the street on the corner. And then, uh, and across Glendora, which is that big Chinese shopping center now, was nothing. I think it was a walnut grove when we first okay. opened, when we first came in. And then it developed into a gas station and uh, Mueller's Pharmacy and a Tasty Freeze and a Chinese restaurant. I remember the barber shop. We used to walk over from what, basically, about where the city yard is, cleared yes. over there, and there was nothing but walnuts and open fields. Yes, basically. yes, you're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Haircuts were 75 cents. Am <laughs> <laughs> I <Yeah. laughs> too high? Is that about what they were? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember, too, I could ride uh, ride my bike to West Community Grammar School, and I'd yeah. cut through fields. Yeah, you cut right through the fields. I'd go right by your place. Yeah, right by, yeah. It was, <laughs> and it was a big reservoir back near California Street? Yeah, the reservoir, when they yeah. put that in, yeah. Yes. It's yeah. still there, you know. It's still there, I didn't know It's a little fancier looking, but it's yeah. still there. I used to ride my bike around yeah. that. And Hard to believe that those fields were open like that, isn't yeah. it, with all the homes you mm -hmm. go. Yeah, so. yeah, and then when the walnut trees disappeared, they, a lot of strawberry fields, and I remember well uh, on the weekends driving all through the all through the uh, strawberry fields because my dad knew all the growers and they'd save all the good strawberries. For oh, me. weren't they good? Oh, yeah. They so, were delicious. They were unbelievable. Uh, so, the, so the ranch market still uh, is there today. Still operates. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's and, it's changed around a lot. It's hard to recognize, but it's still some. It's a market and a little restaurant, I think. Yeah, they have a little restaurant mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. I can tell you a little bit yeah. about uh, things I didn't know until much later on. Uh, some of it not that many years ago, but mm -hmm. I used to, I still I used to wonder a little bit. But on Saturdays, this is after I could drive. My dad would uh, he would fill a couple of baskets full of groceries and stuff and load them in boxes and. We had a little Plymouth station wagon, 51, <laughs> and anyway, I, he would give me an address, and I was to deliver this stuff, and it was always, and we delivered a lot. Oh. But these, on these particular Saturdays, I would have to go down to the uh, Catholic Church on Glendora. Oh, yes. And pick up the nuns, bring them back to the <laughs> store, oh. and do their shopping, and I'd take them back to the church. That's interesting. But it was very interesting. In fact, this involves Mr. Dunner, who our teacher. Okay. His wife was an old-time West Covina lady. Yes, yeah. she was. Yeah. yeah. And and they, they were saying, do you, did you know your dad used to take care of a lot of people in West Covina? Yes, I knew that. And yeah. I said, you know, 
Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't know that. Mm -hmm. And then she started telling me, and she doesn't know where, didn't know where my dad found this information, but somebody would, either the, maybe a, maybe one of the churches, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe schools, mm -hmm. would tell him so and so is having a real bad problem. Yeah. And so those were the groceries I was delivering. Oh, I see. And had no clue. Okay. I was never told this. See, I knew. And in fact, it was him. it was it was Mr. Donahue's wife that ended up telling me. But I thought that was interesting. That's very yeah, nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah. Bill, your father, doing that, or the store. Oh, you yeah. did. Yes. Oh, it was I, common knowledge, except you didn't know. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, never no, tell us. My, my dad would have never never told us. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Donahue was a secretary at the elementary school, so that could be, you know. Yes. Yeah. And, okay. And she was an old timer, you might say. Yes, yes. Very she, she kind. On Barbara Street. Barbara, yeah. very good person, very nice. So, um, you talked to you earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us uh, about the, your in and out story. Oh, that's oh, a good well, one. <laughs> uh, well, my claim to fame with in and out is uh, they opened in 1948, and my dad took us all to in and out the first week they were open. So. So they used to be on this. It's fun to talk about. Yeah, oh, that's, absolutely. That's, that's, I think that's a real, <laughs> yeah, real subject. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we just saw the uh, Pule Hauser episode again on TV the other day and made me remember that again. Yeah. So, do you have any more questions? No, but I've sure learned a lot. Yes. I remember the store and it brings back very good memories. But yeah, the store still operates today. It's wonderful. And that's pushing 70 years, probably. Yeah. If, if, it, if yeah, your dad bought it in 48. And yeah. it was an existing store, so it's it was a, yeah. It's, it's got to be how long seventy it... years. Also, um, at that time, it was probably the first grocery store in West Covina. Mm -hmm. Probably so, was yeah, because yeah. there was nothing yeah. else. It probably was, was. in nineteen forty eight. There was say, nothing yeah. else here. Uh -uh. Yeah, I, I'd say it was because mm -hmm. you went to Ball Park or you went to Covina. Yes, yeah. or yeah. you go to Crawford's in Elmont. Crawford's in Elmont. Yeah. yeah, we all can't. Ever... That's where we went. Yeah, yeah. Crawford's for real shopping. We either went to Pomona or. Crawford's. Okay. So, Bill, yeah. what, can you explain to us some of these pictures? Yes. Uh, this is a picture taken, I believe, right around 1950, Willem Park Ranch Market. <clears throat> As you see, there's still an original walnut tree in the, right in front of the store. Uh, uh, the, uh, the older fellow underneath the Ranch Market sign is my grandfather, who just moved out from Texas. Uh, this is... Uh, this is another picture of the front of the uh, grocery store. Uh, it's in the 1950s, I believe, but a little later, later on, the walnut tree's gone. I got beautiful palm trees and then there. Those palm trees happen to be on Glendora Avenue. Uh, I see a couple of Studebakers sitting yeah. there. Yeah, and I think I <laughs> yeah. know. Those belong to the Moore family. He was a Studebaker. He sold Studebakers oh, or something. That's okay. the one on Sunset and West. And, uh, Yes, that's it. Now, this, this is a picture of the interior uh, of the store before before the addition. Uh, the, the, the man you see in the aisle there is happens to be my grandfather. Uh, yeah, this is a picture of the of the back of the store before the addition. Oh, that's the back of the store. That's okay. the back of okay. the store, yes. Uh huh. And shows the back parking lot, and the in front of the car happens to be the old bottle room. And that's where we collected the uh, the uh, empty beer and soda pop bottles. Oh yeah. You remember when you get the yeah. deposit and return? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, a nickel, a dime, or a yes. quarter, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, this is a. a a picture of the interior of the store taken in the, oh, I'd say the, probably 1956, 57. Uh, on the left is my father, I'm in the middle, and my brother Fred to the right. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, that is a good picture. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. Uh, another picture of the interior of the store, uh, the gentleman is uh, Ray Clark, my dad's partner, and one of our high school students working. And he looks familiar. Do you know who? I think it's Mike Dolman. Yeah, I remember. 
That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. <clears throat> Another picture of the interior. In fact, uh, most of these interior pictures where you see everybody has a tie on is because it's Christmas Eve. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and uh, in this picture, we see uh, Mike Dahlman, and in the middle is my cousin Jim Hubbard, and old high school buddy Phil Nelson on the right. Yeah, we remember Phil. Okay. Yeah. This is an, uh, another picture around uh, 1950, and I see the walnut tree is still in front. <laughs> Uh, on, uh, on the left, my grandfather and a customer, and on the far right, pushing a basket, is my dad taking groceries out to somebody's car. Oh, oh that's nice. That is, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I mentioned earlier the uh, bottle room out back. This is my grandfather working in the bottle room. Hires root beer, look at that. Oh, what a wooden, yeah, oh, the, wooden uh, case there. Yeah, the Hires root beer. Yeah, most of the cases in those days were, were wooden. Yes, pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. And that was good root beer. Still is. Still is, that's right. Uh, this is just a picture that uh, my brothers put together, and, and I think they put it together to, uh, to celebrate the... The, fifth, the 40th anniversary in 1988, Ranch Market Times. Oh, that's great. Fox, very, sir. very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Bill, for, thank for coming. You, Bill. Yes, thanks and, for having and me. And thank you for watching, yes. and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.